On Rochelle's Daily Wire video edition, we typically discuss recently decided cases. This week, however, we're going to be talking about an opinion that has not yet even been handed down. Specifically, I am referring to Henry Thomas, now pending in the Fifth Circuit in New Orleans. It deals with student loans. And as we know, student loans are anywhere from difficult to essentially impossible to discharge in bankruptcy. The standard, as we know in the statute, requires a debtor to show that repaying the student loans would impose an undue hardship. But allegedly, in the Fifth Circuit, that Court of Appeals has set forth an even higher standard. As a result, bankruptcy judge Harlan Hale in Dallas, in the Thomas case, wrote an opinion in late 2017 where he said that on account of the Fifth Circuit standard, he had never been able to discharge a single student loan. His opinion was upheld in the district court and then appealed to the Fifth Circuit. The last brief was filed in December. The case was originally scheduled for oral argument in April, but then in the middle of March, the Fifth Circuit dispensed with oral argument. Ordinarily, when that happens, one assumes that in short order, the appeals court is going to hand down a per curiam opinion, in this case, one would guess, affirming uh, Judge Hale and ruling that the student loans were not dischargeable. However, it's now four months later and nothing has happened. What's going on? Well, let me give you a little bit more background. In the very excellent appeals filed for this debtor in the Fifth Circuit, counsel argued that the Fifth Circuit has an erroneous standard that's higher than the statute. And furthermore, they go on to argue that Bruner, which is followed by most of the circuits, is no longer good law because Bruner was written and handed down before Congress amended the student loan dischargeability statute. In any event, this is a case we need to watch out for because what's happening behind the scenes? Do you suppose that the Fifth Circuit judges are discussing whether or not they should call for rehearing on Bonk to reconsider the Fifth Circuit's own authorities or just exactly what's going on? Is the case extremely difficult and therefore they're going to take a long time to decide what's happening? Well, this is a very important case. Goodness knows what the Fifth Circuit eventually will rule, but we all need to pay very much attention to it because for debtors generally, a chipping away at Bruner would be a very good result. Well, I will sign off for now. I am Bill Rochelle, Editor-at-Large for American Bankruptcy Institute. We will be back at the same time next week to talk about something important that happened, or I guess we should say may happen, in the world of bankruptcy.